So if you're looking at building a mud house, then you've come to the right place. Welcome to the Hourland Mud House series, where we're gonna be building this beautiful mud house behind me. The first step before we go on is to make sure you like and subscribe us. So don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. Step number one is how do you make the perfect mud brick. This is the most important thing in building a beautiful mud house like that. So let's take a look at how that's done. Hey, hey everybody. Welcome to our lovely workout this morning in the Arland Reserve. We are churning up some mud today. This mud has been soaking here overnight. We got it wet yesterday and it's going to serve two purposes. We are going to build some mud bricks with it and we are also expanding what was already an existing mud pit for some wild elephants that like to visit here. Now this is a perfect spot for taking the mud from here. Primarily because if you look over here, you can actually see elephant footprints. There you go. There's an old elephant footprint over here. Another one over there. What goes into this? You can see just the existing soil, some water, and the key ingredient here are these rice husks. This is what's left over after you take the rice out of it. It's adding structure, some fiber. And it all just goes right in here. And I gotta tell you guys, this whole experience is basically a spa treatment. Like this rice husk is just an excellent exfoliant. People would pay for this experience. Your skin's gonna be silky smooth on your feet after churning up some mud for some bricks. This is beautiful mud. Look at this. It's the perfect shape texture. It's really thick. It's gonna really hold its structure once it's dried in the sun gonna make amazing bricks out of this. It's ready, we are transporting it in these buckets to a wheelbarrow, where we then move it to the next spot where we actually build the mud bricks. It's gonna be a long journey to get through the jungle to actually get there. So a lot of work goes into just moving this mud around. Let's go guys. We need to get this really compressed to get rid of any air pockets that are in here and we also need the surface to be completely smooth so that it dries properly and we get a nice compact brick at the end of this. And that dries will be a nice flat surface that you can actually stack and build upon. You don't want ragged bricks, you want nice, smooth, perfectly uniform bricks. That's why we use this ladder model here. Get the exact same shape, perfect replication for all of these nice organic bricks. Here they are, 100 mud bricks that are now drying in the sun. They're gonna stay here for about a week. And about halfway through, we flip them over so that they're drying completely on all sides. We have to make sure these cook properly. They have to cook completely throughout, be completely dry. And when they're done, we get this. And these are the perfect sustainable material to be making the new mud houses here at the Arland Reserve. Woohoo! So we're done with our brick making. Next step is laying the foundation. Join us for our next episode on how to do that. <laughs>